Frank and Weenie follows the story of Victor, who, to his parents' concern, keeps mostly to himself in the attic of their house with his only friend, his dog Sparky. When he loses Sparky, who gets run down in the street while chasing a fly ball, Victor gets an idea in science class to bring his dog back to life. The experiment is successful, but it isn't long before some of the other kids in his class find out about Victor's experiment and want to try it for themselves with disastrous results. After seeing the previews, I had one gripe with this film, and after having seen the movie itself, that gripe still stands. And that is, when did the story about a boy bringing a dog back from the dead become insufficient for carrying a full movie? It's an undead dog. Are we really so jaded that we need the story to be about a bunch of other kids bringing back other animals and then them turning into monsters and terrorizing the town in order for us to be entertained? Because I would have preferred Frank and Winnie to just be a story about a boy and his dog with a twist on the old Frankenstein story. Simply, there was a bit too much going on in this film. It felt as if it could have benefited from a bit of trimming down. Now don't take that as me saying I didn't like it. I did. I'll even concede that a lot of the stuff with the other kids resulted in some deliciously creepy and very Burton-y stuff. And also that there was a bit of an interesting look at the perversion of science. There's sort of an interesting conversation between Victor and his science teacher about how the variables of a science experiment can change based on your feelings towards the experiment and how science can be for good and evil. And the climax does have some excellently creepy monsters in it when the other children try to bring back dead animals. Still, I'm not entirely sure that these plot points were handled all that well, particularly considering the motivation behind them. Basically, the whole reason the other children decide to do this is because they want to win the science fair. And by the time they actually get to raising the animals from the dead, it's a moot point anyways due to something that happened directly before. Apart from that, there's also another side plot with the mayor and his niece, who really aren't all that important to the story to be honest. I mean, I liked Winona Ryder's character alright, and the mayor sort of acts like a pseudo-villain, but by the end they're kind of buried in the story. It wasn't that it was bad or anything, it's just that the parts that focused on plot elements outside of the main story felt slightly undernourished and overshadowed the important part of the film. And that's a shame because the movie's heart and soul is in the story of Victor and Sparky, which is well done. Their story was really touching and had a ton of heart to it. Parts that were meant to be sad were really sad, and the two characters were really likable. It's really the thing that keeps this movie from being one of Tim Burton's more average films, because when these characters are on screen, it feels more like some of his stronger movies. It's really these two characters that keep you invested and distract from some of the film's weaknesses. The animation is nice, of course. I like the decision to make it black and white, and whatever you say about Tim Burton films, looking good has never been an issue. All in all, the movie shines when it focuses on the story of a boy and his dog. When the plot strays from that, it feels slightly less well put together, but it's still a solid addition to Tim Burton's library and worth a look at. Easy boy. <laughs> I can fix that. 